bought another M1000R. And yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. But the previous one, which he matched to the BMW M2 GT in British Racing Green, got sold two hours after the review. So, of course, we had to buy and build a new one. And therefore, we chose another car, the 24 Range Rover Sport SV. Could the bike be as good as this Sport SV? Yes, it sure can. Wow, the result of this project is truly amazing. This is the best project we have done so far. The color and the carbon fiber, perfect, just perfect. This is an original Range Rover carbon bronze matte color. The visual carbon fiber parts also finished in matte. And then with the fluorescent details, like the brake calipers on the SV, truly, truly amazing. PS Saturai did the seat for us. Again, with the yellow stitching and piping, perfect. Absolute Motors did some of the decals, the livery on this bike, because a bike without decals, without livery is just, is, is boring, I don't know. Even though it's got so much carbon fiber on it in such a color, it still needs livery. So where to start? Um, I think with the carbon fiber, because there's so much of it that the bike is completely covered with carbon fiber. And this comes from Ilmberger Carbon. Ilmberger produces OEM carbon fiber as well. So the quality of these parts are really good. Plus they supply TUV certificates with every part. So for example, this part or the front fender, they all come with TUV certificates. We've got some other parts that wasn't available at, um, at Ilmberger, like the housing for the front light and also the battery tray in the rear which we did custom with Diamond Tech just to finish it off and have no plastic on the bike at all. But Ilmberger truly did an amazing job because this, this and this is all from Ilmberger. This is like the double R has, the racing version of this bike. And then behind all this carbon fiber, you can see the rotor box wheel, also in carbon fiber. The regular carbon fiber and chopped carbon fiber spokes. You don't see a lot of it because we covered the complete wheel, but the rotating mass is a lot lower than it is from original. So the steering is way lighter and it's way better to drive. For the fluorescent parts, you can see a small detail in the front as well. That's the HyperPro steering damper, which we also took apart to paint. And then Buxur did a bit of the front suspension because these pistons are now black instead of silver. And that's really, really nice. Evotech uh, protectors and these mirrors, these are really nice because this is not mirror glass. This is polished aluminum and it's really steady. So if you drive the bike, you can still see what's happening behind you. Then the Eelberger, like I said before, covered the bike completely. The gas tank, the frame, every cover is Eelberger. And then this huge piece, the belly pan, is also completely carbon fiber, no layovers, the real deal. Behind this carbon fiber belly pan is a titanium Akrapovic exhaust, also the best in the market. You can see the beautiful colors already there. And because it's the complete system, so with headers, the sound is truly amazing. This is the OE uh, BMW Akrapovic damper. Normally it comes in silver or titanium color, 
and now we coated it in satin black just to match it with the rest of the bike. And over here you see the Gillis rear set, also beautiful CNC aluminum parts and the Buxur rear suspension. Also again with the fluorescent yellow parts. And when the sun hits the paint, it really, really pops out, especially on the frame, which we also painted, of course. Ilmberger and like I mentioned before, the Diamond Tech rear part. Gillis has some small details for especially the brake lever caps and the oil fill cap. I think so, yeah. Small part, push, chain tensioner. And I think I forgot some details of the bike, but man, look at this and say for yourself, this is the Bryce project we've done so far, isn't it?